Welcome to the Daily Quiz Podcast. Today's category is Science and Nature. Let's get to it. Question 1. What is a male duck known as? Is it A. A drake B. A jack C. A stallion Or D. A boar The answer is A. A drake A male duck is called a drake. Unlike their female counterparts, drakes often sport vibrant plumage to attract mates. During mating season, they can be seen flaunting their colorful feathers in elaborate displays, making them the peacocks of the waterfowl world. Question 2. In 1905, German scientist Alfred Einhorn created the first injectable local anesthetic used in dentistry. What is it called? Is it a cocaine? B. Lidocaine? C. Morphine? Or D. Novocaine? The answer is D. Novocaine. Novocaine, created by Alfred Einhorn in 1905, revolutionized dentistry by allowing painless procedures. Interestingly, it was initially named Procaine, but its brand name Novocaine became so popular that it overshadowed the original. This breakthrough not only eased dental fears but also paved the way for modern anesthetics. Question 3. What name is often used to refer to a type of flying possum? Is it A. A glider B. A leaper C. A hanger Or D. A flyer The answer is A. A glider Gliders, also known as flying possums, are fascinating marsupials that can glide up to 150 feet between trees. Using a membrane called the patagium, they navigate forests with ease. The sugar glider is perhaps the most famous of these aerial acrobats, often kept as an exotic pet. Question 4. Who invented the telescope? Is it A. Thomas Edison B. Alexander Fleming C. Galileo Galilei Or D. Nicholas Copernicus The answer is C. Galileo Galilei. While Galileo Galilei is often credited with inventing the telescope, he actually improved upon existing designs. His enhancements in 1609 allowed him to observe celestial wonders like Jupiter's moons and Saturn's rings, revolutionizing our understanding of the cosmos and earning him the title Father of Observational Astronomy. Question 5. What is the term used for the point zero zero on a graph? Is it A. Axis B. Intersection C. Main point Or D. Origin The answer is D. Origin the term origin for the point zero, 00 on a graph is derived from Latin, meaning beginning. It's the central hub where the x-axis and y-axis intersect, serving as a starting point for plotting coordinates. In essence, it's like the GPS home location in the world of mathematics. Question 6. Which of the following is widely considered to be the largest dinosaur? Is it a... Argentinosaurus B. Eodromius C. Stegosaurus Or D. Spinosaurus The answer is A. Argentinosaurus Argentinosaurus, a colossal herbivore from the late Cretaceous period, could stretch up to 100 feet long and weigh as much as 100 tons. Imagine a creature so massive that its thigh bone alone was taller than an average human. This gentle giant roamed what is now Argentina around 94 million years ago. 
Question 7. What is a salamander? Is it A. Fish B. Mollusk C. Amphibian or D. Reptile The answer is C. Amphibian. Salamanders are fascinating amphibians known for their incredible regenerative abilities. They can regrow entire limbs, tails, and even parts of their heart and brain. These elusive creatures often resemble lizards but are more closely related to frogs and newts, thriving in moist environments across the globe. Question 8. What is the only even prime number? Is it A. 4 B. 10 C. 0 Or D. 2 The answer is D. 2. The number 2 is the only even prime number because it has exactly two distinct positive divisors, one in itself. Every other even number can be divided by 2, making them non-prime. This unique status makes 2 a mathematical celebrity in the world of numbers. Question 9. On which scale is normal human body temperature approximately 37 degrees? Is it A. Fahrenheit B. Rankin C. Kelvin Or D. Celsius The answer is D. Celsius. The Celsius scale, named after Swedish astronomer Anders Celsius, is used worldwide for most scientific and everyday temperature measurements. Interestingly, 37 degrees Celsius is considered the average normal body temperature, though it can vary slightly from person to person and throughout the day. May your curiosity continue to evolve, and may you always find the right formula for fun. Until next time, keep questioning everything. I'm Montgomery Jones. And I'm Amalia Dupre. Let's part ways for now, until tomorrow arrives. This episode is produced by Classic Studios. See the show notes page for sources and credits. Check out our other podcasts in our network at classicstudios.com.